and welcome to day 57 of Stay at Home with Stanley. We thought we would progress one of the exercises we did a few weeks ago, which Stanley loves, which is where he opens his crate door and puts himself to bed. Um, so if we've got the fleece on, which you can see here, attached to the um, edge of the crate, Stanley really enjoys this game. Um, what I want to do is see if we can make sure that he knows that he only comes out when I give my release word, which is okay. So I'm going to try and test it. I'm going to throw a ball around. He loves his uh, paint roller, so I'm going to throw that around a bit. I've got a toy here, Mr. Beaver, with a squeak on the end. I've even got something that kind of looks furry and throw it around. So I'm going to play with lots of things while he's inside the crate and see if we can test him to see if he will only come out when I say OK. So might not work. But it's a really good exercise because you want your dogs to be really solid when they say stay there, really stay there. Um, and also, this is a safe place to practice it. I'll also be making sure eventually that when he goes, say, in the crate in the back of the car, which I'm lifting him into at the moment, but I will make sure that all of my dogs will only come out when I say OK. So we're going to have a go, Stanley. Are we? It's not a bit tired now. So what I'm going to do to start with, we'll get him out and we'll close the door and we'll just show you how he likes to open the door, put himself in the bed, and then we'll start to add some of the distractions. So, okay, good boy, what a good boy. A little bit of food there. Okay. So, pull. In your bed. Good boy. That's it. Yes. So I'm only going to mark when he lies down because I want it to be nice and solid. Did you not get that? Yes, you did miss that one. Okay, so we'll start with something, just a ball. Good boy. Yes, I'm going to mark every time he doesn't make the wrong decision. So this ball's just going to be bounced up and down like this. And we're going to do that. Yes, good boy, by staying still. What a good boy. I'm going to just roll the ball. Oh, what a good boy. Yes, well done. Okay. And then what we'll do is we'll then say, we'll try it with the paint roller. He loves the paint roller. So we'll wave it around a bit. Yes, good boy, well done. What a clever boy. Good boy. There you go. Okay, we'll try Mr. Squeaker now. This is quite exciting. All moving around a lot, isn't it? Yes, good boy. And then I'll try finally my little furry thing that will move. Oh, oh. I don't think you can see on the floor, but it's, oh, it's moving all over the place here. Oh, 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 oh. Good boy. Okay, so we'll try it then. Yes, because you didn't move, you need to get a piece of food. And there's lots of value in there even though these things are quite exciting. So I'll try Mr. Because he loves Mr. Squeaker and I'm going to go, okay. Yes, good boy. What a good boy, what's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? In your bed. Good boy. That's a clever boy. So that's a really nice little demonstration. Thank you, Stanley. You've done really well there to show you how you can practice. Now, we've done a little bit of this as a game. I want it to be a game. If they make a mistake, all that happens is that all the exciting stuff out here kind of gets boring, goes, gets put to sort of one side. Um, I don't want to tell them off, I just want him to realise that the value is being there and then you get rewarded. So I'm really trying to test him to see whether he'll break um, position and come out of the crate, but he's done really well there. So if you've got a dog that gets very excited, start with something really quite low value. If a ball gets a dog really excited, don't start with a ball. Um, if a squeak gets your dog really excited, don't start with a squeak. And start with something quite and maybe make it just move a little bit just not too much movement um, to start with or even just you holding it can be enough a dog that is very excited about something or wants to play with something just holding this in the hand could be enough to go um can i come out no and then i'll just guide them back in so i'm going to tell them to go back in and almost start the exercise again i always say to my clients think about your wiping the whiteboard clean and you're starting again if they make a mistake but make it a bit easier so that it's, they succeed and then when they do succeed, you can reward really well. So that was a nice little exercise for Monday. And I was pleased with how we've done. Also, we've done a little bit of training on something else today. So he's probably not as excited. So I do it when he's a little, not tired, but certainly thinking about having a little bit of a nap after his, his tea. So think about the time that you do your training as well. So have some fun on a Monday. 
and we'll be, we'll be back tomorrow on Tuesday. This is eight weeks today since we started this um, little project, which we thought would just be for a few of my clients, maybe a few of my friends. Can't believe it's grown to like over 400 followers. We've got people all over the country doing it. We even had a lady from Greece who contacted me the other day. So I'm absolutely chuffed to bits that everybody seems to be enjoying what we're doing. So have a great Monday and we'll see you tomorrow for more Stay At Home With Stanley's. Okay, bye.